everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios. And it's Thursday, which means we're talking about Tracy Eason again today and her fabulous Soul Star stamp sets. And we are working with our color challenge, which is gold or yellow, light blue, green, or uh, this mulberry or merlot. And remember, you only have to use three of the four colors in your project. Now, I had this beautiful Christmas card all planned out. And... Then I remembered I couldn't do it. So, here we are. We're going to throw this card together, together, and I only have 15 minutes. So, let's see how we do. I am going to be using this stamp set. It is called the Spread Your Wings from the Soul Whispers Collection. We're going to be using the wings and possibly some of the wording. We'll see how our time goes. I'm also going to be using a couple of papers from uh, Maja Designs, which I got from Spectrum Art Creations and forgot I had. This is called Winter is Coming. So we're going to be using this. And these are the two, two or three papers I have picked out to use. And we're going to be making a postcard. Okay? So we're going to start with, this is a 4 by 6 postcard. So we need to cut this paper down. And while I'm doing that, my filming corner is almost completely back together. I am so excited. Let's see, that one was... They were both pretty rough on the cuts. I need to change blades in both my trimmers, apparently. So, there is a little bit of gold in here as well as the green and the Merlot. So, I'm going to go here and go to the 4-inch mark. And trim this off. Now, I did notice when I measured this earlier, when I was going to do something else, I realized that my, uh, um, the postcard base that we're going to be using is not perfect. Go figure. Okay. I'll have to wind up trimming it up. Now, I am going to use my Distress. I've got everything set up over here, and it feels fabulous to be able to have everything where I need it to be. Um, I still have a, a project to do over here. Actually, I have two. One is to rearrange all of my papers or my card Stampin' Up! card stocks by rainbow rather than by color family since I no longer do the color families. Don't care. I want to reach for a pink or a green. I want all of my peaks and greens together. So that's project's going to do. And I'm also going to be swatching all of them. So that I know what I have in cardstock, ink, watercolor pencils, and my Stampin' Blends. And I'll be showing that process here in a couple of weeks, hopefully. So I'm just going to squiggle this out because I wanted the snowy side on this. And I'm not sure if there's really a, an, a right side up, upside down piece of this, so we're just going to go with it. And I probably should have something under there because I didn't put my plastic back on here. I thought I'd leave it off and use just the blue and be able to put my uh, Tim Holtz uh, platform up here to use. Okay, so we have this. And I may not even need to bring in any of this. We're going to see. Because what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp these wings and then we're going to fussy cut them out. So this is going to be really fast. Okay. Let's see, I dug out a stamping block that would hold them both. And peel them off. And put them down. And I'm going to emboss them before I cut them out. And I guess I need white cardstock. That would be something that would be helpful. Um, I'll pull out a fresh sheet here, I think. And cut me out a section really fast. That should do the trick. Okay. So I'm going to be embossing this. So I'm going to put my Versamark, which is a watermark stamp pad, 
it's almost non-visible. And I'm not worried about the position of the wings because, like I said, I'm going to cut them out after I emboss them. So we have that. And I have this, um, it's called Translucent Gold, and it's really super pretty. I got this from a gal who used to sell root stamps. They were um, Schooner Genealogy. And she got out of the business, closed her business, and she was selling off a bunch of stuff. And I was blessed to get a whole basket full of stamps and embossing powders from her for a really good price. Some of them are going to go into my store at some point. Came across the basket again today. Now look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now give me just a minute to put this ink back where it belongs. And a minute's about all I have, isn't it? And then... I'm going to take and cut that off a little bit so I don't have all of that in there. And I have my clipboard handy. And I have my heat gun handy. And I'm just going to heat this up till you see that change. It goes from that yellow tone to that pretty gold. I think that is so pretty. So, so pretty. I want to make sure I got all the curly cues. Okay. Now I'm going to set this, let this cool for just a minute because I don't want to damage it when I'm cutting it apart. So we're working with this. And while that's cooling, this is another page from that pattern paper and I'm going to cut her out as quickly as I can and I have my cheaters handy so it'll be even quicker than I'm normally doing because I can see what I'm doing but I'm going to I'm going to eliminate the umbrella she's carrying I want just the girl now is this going to seem like the wings are overkill possibly but I'm okay with that because once I pop everything up, it's not going to matter. And in doing this, I'm going to wind up with another challenge piece for the Spectrum Art Creations Challenge. Which was pure accident, because when I realized I couldn't use the blue, I just started flipping through to see what I had to work with. And this pad had all the colors that I needed to work with. So, it just, happy accident. Okay, we have got her curved around here. I'm trying not to give her sharp shoulders. I wish there'd have been a better picture of her that I could use. There were some really good headshots, but she was using an umbrella and the umbrella was open over her head. So it just was not gonna work for this. So I'm gonna take and I'm just about there. And I don't know where we're doing on time, but tomorrow I will not be doing the uh, premiere. And there will not be a video. Bob and I are going to be celebrating 39 years tomorrow. And we have the day planned to just nosh on our favorite foods and play games all day. We're not even leaving the house. I bought some nice steaks. And I have a couple of lobster tails down in the freezer from Valentine's Day. So we're going to do a little surf and turf. And just kind of do nothing all day. We usually go out and we decide, you know, we, it's hot. We don't really need to go anywhere. So we're just going to stay home and just hang out because that's what we love to do. Bob and I love to just hang out at the dining room table and talk, play cards, play Yahtzee, and that's gonna be our day. Okay, so we have her cut out. Now I'm gonna cut out the wings, and this should go a little faster. I'm gonna cut them each apart, just like that. 
these are going to be easy shapes, so we're just going to whip these out pretty quickly. i got to get my big trash can back over here, though. This is driving me crazy not having my trash can over here. I have my little tab cup for, like, the backs of the of glue dots and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's whip this one across. Temperatures have still been hot. Um, the garden is doing well. I need to go out. I've been going out at least every other night and watering the tomatoes. Um, I've picked 12 peppers and dehydrated them so far. And we will have lots of tomatoes if they all get ripe before it gets cold. I was late getting my getting them in, so I'm not sure how many are going to ripen up, but there are plenty out there. I planted brandy wines this year on suggestion of my uh, friend at Ace Hardware, who gives me a great deal on all of my plants, and I'm not sure I'm going to be happy with them. We shall see. Um, I think next year I'm going to go back to either Arkansas tomatoes or Romas, so I've got a good paste because I really need to put up more paste. I have found that instead of putting up a lot of tomato sauce, I put up the paste, and then when I need sauce, um, all I have to do is, is just add water to the paste. But I also use the paste for other things. I use it for my pizza sauce. I use it in my meatloaf. And the jars are just, they make perfect size for us, for just two people, so... Okay, there's that. Now, take my cheaters out of my way here. And get my crumbs out of my way. Ugh. Now, what I have in mind, as soon as I quit done itching my hand, means I'm coming into money. Uh-oh, I lost a wing. There we go. I lost a wing. What I want to do is I want to put these wings behind her. That's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I want these to have a little bit of movement. So I'm going to only put them down. I'm only putting them down right on the inside edge. I'm just using my Tombow glue. And this will let the rest of the wing appear as if it's got movement. Because it's not tacked down anywhere. Just like that. Now her, I'm going to dust her with the Distress just lightly. I don't want to do anything too... Just get rid of a little bit of that shadowing. Just like that. And then I'm going to add her with Dimensionals. I had Dimensionals handy. There they are. I was going to say, I didn't think I'd put them back. And I think I could use bigger ones on her, actually, in a couple of places. This was a total what-are-we-going-to-do accident, so I had no real plan other than this is what we're playing with. And I guess it worked, so I'm going to put one, a little one up here on her head so that stays down. Move those out of the way, bring our card back up, pull off our paper backs, and I'm going to check time here in a minute and we'll see how we are, see if I've got time to do the sentiment. But there's her right there. Right there. How are we on time? Oh, 14 minutes. I think we can do this as soon as I find the stamp set. <laughs> it was here a minute ago. Okay, let's try. Never be afraid to spread your wings. Never be afraid. And I'm kind of trying to block these out a little bit because I'm going to cut them apart. I don't know. Maybe that one's the wrong block to use. Let's do this one. Let's do never be 
afraid to spread your and I think I'm going to have, if I want room to cut apart, I'm going to have to do this one on a separate block. But that's okay. And we've got our white scraps here. And we have our memento black handy. And by doing it this way, I can stamp them all at once. This one. Oh, that one smudged a little. Let's redo that one. Let's redo wings. Well, third time's a charm. Okay, fourth time's a charm. That's better. <laughs> That's better. I'm going to come in here. Cut these apart. And it's okay if they're a little wonky. I'm okay with wonky. Are you okay with wonky? I'm starting to get in the mood for Christmas stuff, and I guess that's why I was looking at using blues today and then realized I can't do that. I have colors I have to follow. <laughs> I'm going to cut this one down right there, pile these up, put them with the trash. And while I've got these bigger pieces to hang on to before I, well, wings your now I'm, I'm reaching over here I'm, I'm putting the trash in my cup is what I'm doing your spread can't get that two to come out from underneath there he's hiding you afraid B I am just absolutely loving the stamp sets that I got from Tracy Eason remember she is uh, I'm featuring her on my blog as well all this month and next Thursday we will get to see inside of Tracy's studio and see where she creates these beautiful stamps. Where her imagination comes from. And to think about um, tips on if you want to start your own crafting business. That's one of the things that each one has been giving me is tips on starting their own, how their, their crafting, love for crafting became a business. I'm already starting to line up guests for next year. If there is someone you would like to see inside their studio, let me know in the comments below or drop me an email and I will do my best to get them. I've contacted several people that have never responded and that's a shame. I won't spell out names, but you know, some of them are pretty good sized and it would have been nice to see where they create but it's just not going to happen that way okay so now we have our words and we got to figure out the best way to put them across here never be never be afraid to spread your wings. 
there we go. That is our postcard for our color challenge using using Maja Designs uh, paper pad uh, purchased from Spectrum Art Creations. And I will get this glued in place, but that's exactly how you're going to see it. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember to come back Saturday. It is Sack Saturday, and I have a haul for you. So I'll see you on Saturday. Remember to like, to share, subscribe, and create a blessings.